In this tutorial, we're going to look at the split function in Spinner Chief. And we're going to look at the problem that all article spinning software has, including Spinner Chief. And the problem is that when you have a very large article, it can sometimes tie up the software to the point sometimes where even where it will freeze because it's dealing with too much data. Uh, so Spinner Chief has this, this function that will get around that problem and help you to deal with it. So in the software I've got pasted a short article. Now ordinarily this length of article, look it's only three paragraphs long, this length of article is not going to cause a problem for Spinner Chief but I've kept it short for the purposes of, de of this demonstration. So assuming that was a very long article what we can do is split it up and go to this button here that simply says split and we can split it by the number of words or by the number of sentences or uh, by the number of paragraphs so I, I think I'll leave it on the default there and it says split with one paragraph that means it's going to split up uh, every paragraph every paragraph it comes across we will get a different a different tab so if I just click OK there and we can see now we've got three tabs, one, two, and three. That's the three paragraphs that we asked Spinner Chief to divide into. So now you can use those three tabs as though they were different articles. So we could, for example, we could keep uh, number one the same. Number two, we could ask it to identify the synonyms, which it does. And for example, number three, we may want to add some synonyms. So add some synonyms there. So we've got three different aspects of an article one that's just in its original format, one where the synonyms have been identified and one where we've, we've put a few synonyms in. So when you've finished working with the tabs you can uh, then merge them all back together to the original article uh, and you can see here that the spin button that we clicked on, sorry, the, yes the split button that we clicked on originally is now says merge. So if we click on the merge button three paragraphs will go back to the original article uh, ready to actually spin it and this will save you the time that the software will sometimes take when there's a lot of text in that window we can go up and have a look at the article look, there's the there's the, the first paragraph which we didn't touch there's the one where we identified the synonyms and there's the one where we put a few synonyms in. That's the split function. Very simple, very functional, very handy, and of course, unique. Thank you for listening to this tutorial.